Justin and I very early on started talking about what it would be like to make a musical together. He wrote the music for La La Land, he wrote the music for Whiplash, and he'll write the music for anything I ever do. The first music I composed for the movie was actually the theme of the movie. I wanted material that could unfold on a larger scale and throughout the entire movie. We knew there was something kind of unique and magical about it, and it's virtually never changed a note. We knew that that was the rock and the core of the film musically. I practiced some of those piano pieces four hours a day for three months. I should never want to hear them again, but I'm still moved by them. This one piece of music unites them, and I just loved the idea of introducing the musical theme of the movie that way. I just heard you play, and I want to... Orchestration is my favorite part of the process, binding those colors using the orchestra. Whether I was making it melancholy or playful. Justin wrote such beautiful music, and it's something that people are always going to talk about and remember. Justin is a musical voice that draws upon history, but comes out in its own language. Justin and I had always kind of imagined that this would be like a 90-piece orchestra recorded the old-fashioned way, all together in one room. It's amazing to be here scoring La La Land on the same stage where they scored Singing in the Rain and all those great MGM musicals. That was the thing we bonded over when we were college roommates, and it was the pinnacle we were chasing as we were working on music together. We're so lucky to have his score because it's really special. It's about passion for art and passion for love, and ultimately the passion with which we wanted to approach the movie, with which we wrote it, with which we composed the music for it, and with which we intended to put it on screen.